Now let's find out how we can optimize our trade management, which means making better in-trade decisions. So when a trade is running and when we boil it down to the most core principles, it means cutting losers short, letting winners run, trading with a plan and not entering the emotional roller coaster that many traders find themselves in when they're in a trade, money's on the line. They don't really have a clue of what to do with their trades. Maybe they do have a trading plan, but as soon as the trade is on, all the good intentions go out the window. And then very often traders make suboptimal decisions that are costing them money and they're leaving money on the table. So we are back in Edgewonk and let's revisit our trade. So we open the trade up and we have made all the inputs here. We have entered our stop loss, our take profit. And now let's close the trade. We bring up the trade exit. Let's assume we had exited it here. We have an exit price that is a little bit ahead of our take profit. So it was a long trade. We entered at 2200. Our take profit was at 2400. But let's assume we exited at 2300. And then we also need to go to advanced trade data and unlock a new field. It is called OTP hit. And this refers to original take profit hit. And the only thing you need to ask yourself is was your initial take profit target hit? So even though you entered the trade at 2300, you can still keep observing the price after you've exited the trade and ask yourself, did the market after my exit hit the take profit before it would have hit the stop loss? That's really important. If the price after your exit would have hit your initial take profit before it would have hit the stop loss, then you go to advanced trade data and you take it with a yes. We save the trade. What we see is now it's fully closed. And now we go to our chart lab. We scroll down a little bit and we go to trade management. Let me break down the trade management first before we dive into the gold trade. So we have three different lines. The actual performance is here in blue. And this is in terms of our multiple. The graph will only work if you have entered a take profit and a stop loss price for your trade because that's how it's measured in our multiple. And what we see when we go here to the top right, we see that we have an actual performance of 387 risk multiple. Then what is really important is the potential performance. The potential performance is how much money in terms of risk multiple, R multiple, you could have made if you didn't manage your trade. So the potential performance is based on a passive management approach. You enter your trade, you set your stop loss, you set your take profit, and then you don't interfere with your trade at all and you just let price play out. And what we can see here is that the potential performance is 164. So the actual performance is well above the potential performance, which is great because it means that you couldn't have made more money with your potential performance. And that's ideally what you want to see. If you see that the potential performance is above your actual performance, it means that potentially you could have made more money but in some way you mismanaged your trade. You cut your loss too late, you exit the winning trade too early ahead of your take profit or made any other mistake. Let's drill down and find actually the gold trade. We quickly go back to the journal. We want to highlight the trade here using the star icon. And then we go back to the trade management area. We open the basic filters and then we only want to see the start trade, which is then our gold trade. So what we can see here now is our actual performance in blue is below the potential performance. And that means we could have made more money on that trade. Potentially, if we wouldn't have interfered with the trade, we could have made two risk multiple. Let's bring up the trade. We just click on the data point and we can see our take profit target was at 2400. Our exit price was at 2300. So the exit was ahead of our initial take profit. But because we ticked it with OTP hit yes, it means the price after our exit would have gone on to hit our initial target. And that means that we interfered with the trade in a negative way. We left money on the table. If we wouldn't have done anything, the market would have gone on to our take profit target and we could have made more money. And this is a really important insight because it shows you that your active trade management is costing you money. And it is something that many struggling traders will realize. After breaking trading rules, which we addressed in the last video with the tilt meter challenge, mismanaging trades when you're in them is another huge performance leak where traders leave a lot of money on the table. And typically, after you're able to fix your tilt meter, you should tackle your trade management. 
typically what we see is that there is the most room for improvement for traders. Let's switch it around and let's reopen the trade. We go to advanced trade data and let's say the market didn't hit our take profit. What does it mean? It means that after our exit, the market would have not gone on to our take profit, but it would have turned around and hit our stop loss, the initial stop loss. So that's what it means when you select no. So we save the trade again and now it has changed and turned around. Now you can see the actual performance is above the potential performance because if we wouldn't have managed the trade, if we wouldn't have exited manually, the market would have turned around and hit our stop loss. So potentially with a passive approach, we would have lost one R, we would have lost one risk multiple, but we ended up realizing an actual performance of one. So actually by actively exiting the trade, we realized a better outcome than what we could have potentially realized if we hadn't done that. So this is how the trade management graph is built. The yellow line shows the management effect. And when, if we hover over, you can see the management effect is two, which means that by actively managing our trade, we gained an additional two R. Why two R? Because potentially we would have lost one R, so negative one R, but we made actually one R. And the difference between that and that is two R. And that's why the potential performance is here. You can use all the filters from basic and advanced in the trade management graph here. So if we want to drill down on a specific month, we can do that here and we can change the way the data is displayed. So we can really dive deep into our trading performance. Here, for example, for the two months that we have selected, in the beginning, the actual and the potential performance were actually very close. Here, the potential performance in green was above the potential performance, which means that the trader left some money on the table, which means that the trader left some money on the table by actively managing the trades. But he turned it around and then the actual performance jumped above the potential performance. So the trader turned his trade management around, he made better decisions, and then the two lines separated, which shows that he's making more money by managing his trades. But what we have seen, especially in the beginning, most traders will benefit from a passive approach. So in the beginning, it's very natural to see that your potential performance is higher than your actual performance. Why is that so? Because by actually managing your trade and by actively interfering with the trade, traders are often making suboptimal decisions. So in the beginning, it's quite normal to see your potential performance above your actual performance, which is a great insight because it shows you that you can trust in your system, you can trust in your target, you can trust in the price and just let the market do its thing without you having to actively manage the trade. And that is a really helpful insight and that's why the trade management challenge is the next. So after you can control your tilt meter and keep it green mostly, try to focus on the actual trade management. For that, go to your trades, go to the advanced trade data and make sure to check the OTP hit field for your trades and that will unlock the trade management graph.